Thanks, John. John, John. John was afraid I was getting a little wore out and old, so he set a chair up here for me. Yeah, right. Hey, thanks for coming today. Today's our uh, youth-led service. Our young people will be taking over, uh, and I'll stay up here and be a part of it because I'm young at heart. No, I won't. I'm going to run upstairs. But today is a great day. Uh, thank you, everyone who's come and come out today. We're looking, uh, hopefully, for the rest of everybody to show up before, <laughs> before the, the service ends. Uh, there is a lot of food here. Uh, and praise God that we have it because every day with Jesus is better than a day. Every day with bacon makes it good. Let's take just a moment and pray together, shall we? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. Thank you for John and his desire to work with our young people. And God, I thank you for the young people that are willing to, to serve and do the things here in this service. God, we know that within just a few years, they'll be the, the, the official leadership of our church. They are the church today, God, and not just part of the building, part of the body. And so today, as we gather ourselves together in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Son of the living God, who is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the one who is by all means, his name is the only name whereby we must be saved. We come in that name and ask you to send out your Holy Spirit and breathe upon this service today. Touch our hearts, touch our homes, our lives, our families. And God, today, may the seal of the Spirit be upon us all. We pray your anointing upon these young people that take part in this service. And God, I thank you for their commitment to you. We pray this in Christ's name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Do we have a first song? No? They, they're coming up first. Okay. Good morning. My name My name is Delaney Woodall and my sister and my sister and I, Brogan, are going to introduce our service today. Today we are going to talk about love. Not just the kind that we express on Valentine's Day, although if you want to get sentimental, please feel free. But we want to talk about God's love and how if we feel it, and if we, you feel it, it will be Valentine's Day every day for you and everyone that you meet. Now let's open our hearts and prepare to receive God's infinite love, which is everywhere, for everyone all, all the time. Now for today, some announcements. If you're new to Plymouth, welcome. You have stumbled into one of our quarterly youth Light services. I can see that some of you are looking around nervously, but relax and hear us out. Besides, there is so much more to come after our service, but more about that later. Andrew and Pastor Bill will be back next week to show you all how we usually do church. Inside your bulletin, you'll find a communication form that we ask newcomers to fill out and drop in the collection plate. Also on that form, you'll find a place to list any prayers requests that you have. There will be a special collection for those later. It looks like May is going to be a busy month for us. Please find the announcement sections in the bulletin, but for those folks, folks watching at home, let's review. Saturday, May 2nd, is our spring cleanup day starting at 8 a.m. And kids, we've been invited you to help. Now let's all come out and make this place shine because it's not going to clean itself. Any questions, see Jack Illingham. Tuesday the 5th is our monthly family prayer time at 6.30 p.m. Sunday the 10th is our Mother's Day celebration. Kids, start thinking about what to get mom and make it special. Sunday the 17th is Music Sunday. Always an expiring day brought to you by Jan Stack. If anyone wants to perform that day, please see her. She'll be back next week. Also the 17th is our monthly family movie night at 6.30 p.m. Sunday the 24th is our memorial service day and in June sec the 2nd is family prayer time at 6.30 p.m. And the 21st is Father's Day. Kids, whatever you think for the old man. Also, don't forget Wednesday evening our experiencing God's study at 6.30 every Sunday. Theology 
101 at 9.30 a.m., both hosted by Andrew Jones. But today is a big one for us. After our service, we will have a quarterly meeting where our boards and committees will report to you what they have been up to the last three months. Everyone is encouraged to stick around for that. Then, after that, there is a potluck. And this time, we celebrate bacon. And the sooner we start this service, the sooner we get to the bacon. Grant has our call to worship. Ready, Grant? Join, please join me to the call of worship where there is life, where there is freedom, where there is hope. Where there, wherever you lead me, when you help me choose love over fear, when you challenge me with hardship, loss, and great difficulties, for the love that Jesus showed us by blessing us with the cleansing blood that throws open a gate to heaven to all believers, thank you, God, for everything that you have done for us and I love you too, amen. Please stand and sing our opening praise hymn, number 21, How Great Thou Art.
Imagine life without love. What is love again? The future doesn't matter. Faith is academic. Feeding the poor doesn't pay. Helping others depends on your mood. Great sacrifice is great foolishness. Serving someone is just a job. Marriage is negotiation. Parenting is childcare. Work is merely work. Time is only money. Volunteering is out of the question. Fear remains. God is not. I will serve myself with all my heart and soul and mind. What is love again? Hopefully today we will get a glimpse. Thank you. Our first scripture reading today is taken from the, f the first letter of John, chapter 4, verse 7 through 12. Dear friends, our, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This, this is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the into the world so that we might live through him this is not this is love not that we love god but that he moved he, they loved us and sent his, his son as an atoning sacrifice of our for our sins dear friends since god so loved us this also ought to ought to love one another so no one has ever seen god but if you if you, we love one another god lives in us and his love ha is made complete in us please let us please let's stand and sing our opening hymn number 20 joyful joyful we adore thee In our next skit, Carolyn and Emma are talking about choices, big ones. Our next skit is called Choose Love.
Carolyn. What's up? Oh, hi, Emma. I'm just trying to catch up with the news. So you bought a newspaper? How quaint. Yeah, I kind of like reading the newspaper. It's, more, it's a lot more calming for me than surfing for information. Okay. So what's Dagwood and Blondie up to this week? Never heard of them. But I'm reading an interesting piece about how we think. Do you know how the humans express human brain expresses only two fundal emotions, love and fear. And from all, from these two, and from these two, all other emotions are experienced. So on the love side, we would have joy, amazement, maybe compassion? Right, and on the side of fear, we would have tension, stress, pain, sorrow, and more. It says here that we live in fear, that when we live in fear, we react to instead of act against our fear. But when we live in love, surely we must feel excitement, generosity, trust, and courage. Right again, because fear weakens and disables. Now, perfect love, like a light, casts out all our fear. And the Bible says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. That darn Isaiah. Many times, our fears can be irrational, like believing in the boogeyman. The devil causes us to become fearful, but God is way bigger. When we give up our fears to God, we can live a full life which he has prepared for us. So which will you choose, fear or love? Thank, Thank you. you. Our second reading is taken from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 1 through 3, 8 through 10, and 12 and 13. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of only if of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge. And if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all possesses to the poor and give my body over to hardship that I might boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, there they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we pr prophecy in part, but, we, but when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. For now we only see a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. We hope that you have had time to fill out the prayer request form found in your bulletin. If you will, please pass them to the center aisle. Brendan will come and come around and collect them. If you need a little extra time, you can put them in the collection, collection plate while those are being collected. Let us sing number 708, Blessed Be the Ties That Bind.
Thank you, Brendan. These prayer requests are going to be prayed over mightily. We are going to say a prayer as Pastor, as will Pastor Bill, and then they will be posted online to Pastor's Prayer Network. So let us pray now. Dear God, grantor of mercy, grace, and peace, you already know these requests because you know what is in our hearts. For those who ask them, you also know that there are many unspoken requests not in this box, but the, they are still silent requests you for help. We ask that you grant all these requests because of the love and bond that we have for each other. We also know that you will answer them in your own time and way. In the meantime, please give us serenity, hope, and full hearts to those who have called on you today until these requests have been fulfilled. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Will the ushers please come forward? As the plates are passed, let's sing hymn number 657, All Things Are Yours. Thank you, God, for these gifts, these, and offerings. May we be good stewards of them for our own use, and as generous as we can uh, be for the good of those who can use our help. Please bless these givers who are giving from their hearts and not necessarily from their pocketbooks, and let, us, and let the sharing of their treasure return to them in ways not imagined by them. We thank you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In our final skit, Faith and Hope are not happy about taking back seats 
to love. But a stranger comes by to set them right. Ready, guys? There we go. Well, if it isn't my old friend, Hope, where have you been? I haven't seen you around lately. I've been around, Faith. You've just been looking in the wrong places. And what about yourself? You've been a little scarce nowadays, too. Yeah, some days it's hard for me. Uh, I keep, I keep being bi knocking on doors, but I haven't had any luck at getting anyone at home. I guess everyone is so busy. I'll bet they're home. They just look to see who's knocking, but they can't get out of the way fast enough. You're kind of like a Jehovah's Witness or uh, that one pesky kid down the street always trying to sell something. I heard this week it's cookie dough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not selling anything. I'm giving it away. What about you? How, how, how have you fared? Well, pretty much the same. It's a tough old world out there, and look at us. There's so much to offer. Yes, we do. I wonder which one's greater. Of course, it's me. <laughs> Why would you say that? Are you, are you kidding me? A world without hope would be terrible. Who would want to get out of, the, out of their bed in the morning? Yeah, but you're not a strategy. Now a person who has faith uh, is a believer, and believers are doers. Would you rather hope something good is going to happen or in your life or believe that something good is going to happen? You can't honestly tell me. Hi, Hope. Hi, Faith. What are you yammering about? Who are you and who's your little friend? I'm Paul. You may have read one of my letters. Oh, uh, I actually don't have a mailbox. Yeah, my little friend here is love. I've been showing him around, you know trying to get people excited about him. Good luck with that. But where is he from? God. I may say that he is quite special. In fact, God thinks he is the grace of you all. Uh, why is that? Because love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It also protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves. How about that? Got anything else there? <laughs> yeah, God says that now these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. See, God is love, and love is God. You guys really need to crack open a Bible sometime. See what's in there. Hey, maybe we can get those matching white outfits and go on a world tour. <laughs> That's a great idea, or I believe that's a great idea, and, uh, yeah. Uh, why, why, why is he so quiet? Did you hear anything that I said? Looks like it came along just in the nick of time for you two.
Thank you, John, for finally letting me talk. I mean, this is great. I could barely not talk. So it's, and our final, final thoughts for today are, so it seems that love really does make the world go round because the Bible says that God is love. And he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. He, makes, he made this world and everything in it out of pure love, a love that stretches as far as the east as, as far as the east is from the west. Sometimes we let fear and our own little worlds cause us to forget about the world that he created for us. But he touches our everywhere, especially now in the spring, to remind us of his great love for us. What he, could, what he would have us do is to keep our hearts open to receive it and pass it on. Thank you for your kind attention to us today. Also, big thanks to Pastor Bill for giving up the pulpit today. Stella for the awesome job with our hymns. Bob for a perfect bulletin, unless Joyce found any typos. <laughs> the kids of Plymouth for their patience with Mr. Riley, their parents, and especially you all for your support of these services. We will be back on July 12th for our final message of the season. And now for Pastor Bill, will you close the service? Every kid to John to Stella to Jan to everybody that helps put this together it's such an incredible thing to let the kids take part and have the service I realize John's got a good hold on them oh yeah right <laughs> but I'm grateful that our kids are willing to do it because when I was their age, I wasn't willing to do anything. It, well, I can't say that. And never mind. But thank you for coming. We're going to have, please, if you're, if you're part of the church membership, if you want to stay for dinner, hang out for our meeting. Hopefully the meeting will only take about 15 minutes. Uh, Mr. Eric Conan will come and, and lead us in a great, great meeting. And then we'll go have the Baconator. So let's uh, pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. And God, today that we are able to gather ourselves in this facility that's been given to us. And God, that we today can remember what these kids told us. What's the greatest? All being famous, no. Being rich, no. Having all knowledge, no. Having everything we ever wanted in life, no. But the greatest of these, all these things, is that word called agape. It's the love that never ends. It's the love that never forces. It's the love that gives and never takes. So God, we want to give back to you today our praise and our worship. And we want to thank you for the gifts that have been given today. And God, the gifts of, of kind that have been given to this church just this week. God, we had guys working on our roof to, this week. Yesterday. I didn't think they'd be here, Lord, because they'd be so tired and sore. But y you caused them to be here. And what a great day it is. So Lord... As we celebrate the best day of our life, may we today acknowledge being in your presence. Bless each family that's here. Bless our meeting to come. And God, we pray that you would bless the food that we're about to receive. So today, we give you all praise and glory in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. And what hymn are we singing?
739. Oh, it only takes a spark to get a fire going. Stand with me. Mm -hmm. 